Hi guys, today Sen Hound here again and we look at uh, this uh, what I would call an Olivier Polge tetrad. Olivier Polge is the son of Jacques Polge who is a legendary in-house perfumer for Chanel for 37 years and uh, subsequently taken over by uh, Olivier Polge. All right, apparently he wanted to be a pianist but it didn't work out. So, you know, the genes of the father, right? So, he created a lot of legends just like his father. So, Blue de Chanel perfume the blue de chanel uh, edt and edp was created by the father jacques polge whereas the perfume was by uh, olivier polge olivier polge won the 2009 uh, award uh, for excellence in perfumery i can't remember the award name though guys so let's look at the tetrad olivier polge tetrad so we've got here spice bomb the original okay by victor and rolf uh, we call uh, well people not we people right generally call these uh, chai you know the indian uh, spicy tea the kind of a spice mix it's nice interesting pleasant but uh, it will go off very fast so it's very evanescent uh, so whether it's worthy of your money or not is a question mark uh, that is followed by this legendary duo ohm uh, i'm not sure the version that i'm having which is a very new one is uh, actually done by him i think he made the previous ones but if the dominant iris theme of duo ohm is anything to go by uh, this is not my perfume guys this is for girls to stop right um, yeah some some of course not some a lot of people guys like it it's one of the top sellers but to me um, maybe maybe i smell this too much on uh, females and so um yeah uh, this doesn't really work for me um right next blue de chanel perfume this is yeah, definitely for a mature man although if you go through their ingredient list rather long in ingredient list including pineapple geranium lavender um, uh, cedar and so on sandalwood um uh, but uh, i don't know whether they they very uh, truthfully release all the ingredient combinations but i'm smelling lots of incense and musk inside this one so this works for a mature gentleman right so you go to one of those studies you know old school lots of leather bound books and you know a guy wearing a suit with a rose godfather right <laughs> so it might work for them and then here is the one by dolce and gabbana again another very popular perfume very versatile perfume um unfortunately porgie uh none of your perfumes really get me all that excited um yeah right this one was spice bomb was i was i, I liked it a lot uh at least in the beginning but uh, because it was so evanescent then i sort of lost interest in it and then um what do you call it uh, dior ohm uh, i told you guys already i'm not into that at all all right do the chanel the one so uh, among these if you ask me to choose which would be my uh, favorite i would go for let's say um, let me think okay the last will be dior ohm sorry okay uh, followed by the third place would go to uh, dolce and gabbana the one and uh, number 2 will be spice bomb because of it could have won but because of this very short duration is a problem and uh, so in this tetrad of his the champion i think would be butational perfume uh, it's a nice scent but um, you know not not something that's going to make me go wow what makes me go wow let me see if i can find it for you guys yep so what makes me go wow this this guy here right here this masterpiece lanui de lom this makes me go wow <laughs> when i spray this i'm going like wow all right you know it makes me feel like i'm ready to go out and win something so i like uh, lanui de lom uh, by oisel a lot um in terms of uh, projection and duration unfortunately it doesn't do great okay those people who are working on this puff perfume please polish it so that it lasts longer okay so this is uh, awesome perfume uh, and uh, these four guys behind uh, they are what do you call it uh, uh, yeah among the four the blue chanel wins but compared with this lanu de lom it eats them all up for lunch all right okay guys my review of the olivier polje tetrad and i just threw in uh, this ysl which has uh, absolutely nothing to do with him uh, into the mix just to sort of compare these four categories with uh, some perfumes that i consider truly great all right now uh, ysl lanu de lom was uh, created by three three people not one 
and uh, their names are also as usual you know i will have struggled pronouncing and flipo pierre wagni and dominic ropion so uh, that they they created a champion here in 2009 so um uh, yeah if i have a choice i'll go for this um and uh, yeah just that it is to improve your projection and what not okay so let's say bye bye to our wise learning the long bye bye okay now we are left with the original discussion here so as i mentioned earlier uh, in terms of ranking this is the last one okay this guy lost for, uh, for male perfumes even for female perfume i find the iris you know mm -mm 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 -mm. all right followed by uh which one was it no uh, i can't even remember my ranking earlier was it this this was good but this one's problem is it's evanescent and uh, this one is versatile okay but nothing you know to me no big deal maybe uh, i haven't tried the U edp yet maybe that will be better and then uh, this is the winner among olivier polgis four famous ones all right Okay, Olivier Polje, I hope you will uh, continue making uh, great perfumes for us. Uh, just that you got to work harder on the longevity. Maybe your commercial masters uh, pressurize you to create dilute versions called EDT and uh, subsequently follow it up with uh, uh, the parfum, parfum and so on. So that might be a reason why uh, you aren't able to do, you know, hardcore, nice uh, fragrances. Well, capitalism guys, you know, pros and cons, right? So uh, maybe he should uh, start his own in-house um, brand like Kirk Jen. I, I don't know if he has it or not, guys. You know, if, if, he, if he has, please inform me. And maybe then we're going to see some more interesting uh, work from Olivier Polje. Okay, guys, thanks and give your comments. Uh, and of course, he actually has a long list of perfumes that he's worked on. And if there's any gem that I've missed out, do um, mention it in the comment section so that I can sort of uh, maybe try them out if I have a chance in the future. Okay, bye-bye.